What's up everybody, welcome to Money Management channel. My name is Andy and today I'm gonna be doing an update on NEO stock. And in today's video, first of all, I will show you where we are on the price chart and how we get there. Then I will continue with the fundamental news and I will show you the news uh, that might be very useful for NEO in order to prove uh, their fundamentals. And I have to say that uh, their fundamentals uh, become stronger and stronger. And at the end of this video, I will share my thoughts and my technical analysis and I will show you what to do I expect next. So let's start with the price chart. I made my previous video right here at this point uh, and I've told you that uh, because of uh, this structure and uh, this uh, bounce uh, that uh, we caught uh, is uh, not so impressive because it doesn't have uh, enough volume and uh, because of all of these signs uh, my main assumption was that we have to uh, see at least another leg to the downside uh, that should complete the structure from its swing high at roughly $16 price point to the lowest point. And I have to say that uh, this asset uh, broke uh, several ranges uh, of uh, support. And in my technical analysis, I will show you uh, in details uh, what should we expect next. But for now, let's continue with the fundamental news. First of all, I want to show you this article that was published on October the 7th. And that is titled NEO Improving Setup Rating Upgrade. And uh, the summary is following. Chinese EV makers, including NIO, Xpeng and Li Auto, are experiencing a strong rebound in production volumes. NIO's delivery momentum has soared, showing 43.8% growth in September. The firm has also addressed concerns over its cash burn through a $1 billion convertible note offering. Uh, NIO's recent delivery gains uh, have been driven by SUVs. Heading towards uh, the Q3 report, NEO has margin upside and surprise potential. And uh, in general, this article is uh, quite bullish on NEO. But guys, you have to keep in mind that uh, the only and the main, basically the main uh, improvement that this company should do in order to uh, hit high targets of uh, its shares is to improve uh, their gross margin. And for now, unfortunately, their gross margin is quite low at about uh, 1%. But uh, in just several minutes, I will show you what uh, might be another catalyst for their gross margin. So let me show you another news uh, that uh, we have uh, an insurance registrations data for the week uh, ending October the 8th. And the new hit uh, the 1.3 thousand uh, deliveries, as you can see right here. And uh, definitely it is not the best number. But uh, this uh, happens uh, because of uh, the uh, Chinese Golden Week holidays. And uh, it is entire, well, more than uh, a week, I guess, uh, of uh, the holidays for the entire China. And that is why uh, these numbers are not so impressive for all of the auto manufacturers. And let me quote you this. Uh, new vehicles had uh, 1.3 thousand insurance registration in China last week according to data shared by Li Auto. Uh, NIO's vehicle insurance registrations were down 70.45% last week from 4.4 thousand the week before. And it's unclear whether the company also used the holiday season to adjust its production lines. And uh, in my opinion, it is very difficult to assume that uh, they uh, will uh, adjust their production lines. Uh, because, guys, for China, and I worked uh, with Chinese uh, companies uh, for quite uh, some time, and I know that uh, the entire country is on holidays. And you basically cannot uh, force the people to work during these days, because it is a very important holidays uh, for Chinese people. And uh, let me quote you further. Notably, most of NEO's models saw their wait times reduced on October the 8th with four lower-priced models seeing wait times of two to three weeks and the flagship SUV, the ES8, reduced from five, uh, and, uh, from five to six weeks to four to five weeks. And uh, this uh, might be a very interesting uh, and uh, important uh, sign that uh, uh, they improve uh, their ability to produce more vehicles. On the other hand, uh, it might also be not so bullish sign if uh, they have uh, some problems with the demand on their vehicles. 
But guys, I have to say that Chinese market is huge and NIO is trying to do its best uh, to improve uh, their ability to produce as uh, many vehicles as they can. And in my opinion, this uh, is uh, the good news in general that will uh, allow company, that will allow NIO to improve uh, their production rates and uh, eventually to hit uh, much higher deliveries uh, in Q4 of uh, this year. On top of that, let me show you another quite interesting news. Uh, CATL rumored uh, to have given lower prices for batteries uh, supplied uh, to NIO and Zikr. And let me quote to this. Chinese power battery giant uh, Cattle is rumored to have lowered the price of batteries uh, it supplies to NIO and Zikr as the price of lithium carbonate, a key raw material for batteries, continues to fall. A research note by local Chinese brokerage uh, Taifang Securities, which lowered their forecast for Cattle's earnings in the third quarter, circulated in Chinese media as well as on social media yesterday. Subsequently, several auto bloggers on Weibo said that this could be due to Cattle's uh, price uh, concessions uh, to two key customers, NIO and Zikr, which could contribute 2 percentage points uh, to NIO's gross margin in the third quarter. Cattle's uh, move may also be telling other car makers uh, that battery prices are negotiable and will continue to fall. A Weibo blogger with more than one 100,000 followers wrote yesterday. And guys, uh, if uh, this uh, news is uh, real and if uh, this uh, potential upcoming step towards the reduction of uh, cattle prices for other manufacturers is also real, definitely it shows that NIO might improve for their uh, gross margin for several percent uh, because of uh, this news alone. And let me remind you that for now, they have quite low gross margin at uh, 1%, and uh, it is ridiculously low for three quarters in a row. And uh, the next quarter, Q4, should be much higher because of, first of all, the news uh, from uh, Cattle. And on the other hand, uh, that uh, NIO switched uh, to NT 2.0 platform from uh, old platform NT1, NT 1.0, and uh, this platform is much more efficient in terms of uh, the gross margin. And this means uh, Q4 should be much more lucrative for NIO. And uh, this should improve uh, its fundamentals. On top of that, uh, let me show you uh, the consensus analyst price target. It is still quite high at $12.68, which implies about 52.16% uh, of upside potential from current levels. On top of that, let me show you the behavior of uh, so-called smart money. If uh, you take a look on the list of institutional investors, you can see that uh, we, in general, we have more green rolls than red ones. This means uh, more companies uh, uh, opened a new, completely new position uh, in NIO. And uh, other companies uh, like major investments, uh, uh, like, uh, let me show you, like Vanguard, uh, they are rebalancing their position and as you can see this position of uh, 253.2 million dollars uh, were reduced by uh, 0.44% but another quite similar position of uh, 245.562 million dollars were increased by 1.38%. This means uh, Vanguard uh, hold strong their line in uh, NIO. And this means uh, we can anticipate uh, an upgrade of uh, their uh, fundamentals and we can anticipate uh, higher price targets uh, by the end of this year. So, and let's continue with the technical analysis. But before we dive deep right here, please subscribe to my channel, hit notification bell and hit the like button. This helps me a lot. So guys, according to the recent price action, I still stand on my position that most likely we should see the breakout below this uh, level of uh, previous swing low at about uh, $7.9 mark. And uh, we have uh, to see uh, lower lows in order to complete the structure from its uh, swing high at $16. And potentially we might hit uh, its, uh, let me show you, its lowest price, uh, its, uh, low, its bottom at uh, about uh, $7.3 mark and from this level we might see at least a reaction. So what should you do if you want to enter your position? I have to say that first of all you have to do your own due diligence and if you want to uh, benefit out of uh, this price action in the short term perspective, I think you have to stay aside because it is uh, 
uh, it is uh, not so obvious that we have uh, to see uh, the movement in certain direction with the high probability. And uh, that is why you can accumulate your position only if you are a long-term holder and uh, if you uh, are willing to uh, leave this position uh, not sooner than uh, in a matter of uh, next uh, 6 to 18 months. So, I think that's all information that I want to provide you. If you like my video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel with notification bell. And see you guys and girls next time. Bye!